hello guys welcome to my channel so this is um, in regards to the vagrant tax one so um this is it so you start your um, virtual box and that means after installing it and you know the video is in the previous i'm going to put the video in the link below so after starting it uh, it's going to run the command so it's currently running some background um, login so the ubuntu focal login code is vagrant which is the same thing as the password which is vagrant 2 then you now click enter then now will now clear the screen so that we can start the tax so in this tax we will create the vagrant so we have to use git clone http your personal token github.com slash zero day dot git so I'll, I'll send the also the video of create getting your personal token in the description box below then after that you're going to now clone it so um you have to use git clone https slash slash then you will now put your personal token then at github.com slash your username slash zero d dot git so you have to create your um your repository zero underscore d then you put the description then you after that after cloning it so you now click um ls so automatically you see your zero underscore d your command line so this is my zero underscore d then you now see cd zero underscore d <clears throat> so in this place now we're going to now type echo my first readme so we want to write our readme um text they will now say cat readme dot md so to print my first readme so this is it echo my first readme read then when i say readme.md so after doing that we will now go to cd zero underscore d then ls you now see your readme.md so now automatically we are now in the directory of zero underscore d so I want to see cat readme.md so you can see my first readme here then we will now say git add dot git add dot so um after typing git add dot they will now say git commit dash m so we want to write our commit uh, message so our commit message is um, my first commit so this is my uh, commit message then i will now click So when i press enter automatically to show me git config global username email so in this place now you're going to now type your git config that dash global user dot email so you're going to type your email then you now come down also write git config that dash global user dot name then you now write your your github username so anytime you you're faced with this uh, problem like fatal unable to auto detect email address or fatal error you have to use this command which is um, git config that dash global user dot email then you now put your email address so i will now write my email so i'm using one of my email which is uh, e n e j e o t h n iel at gmail.com so i'm writing the email then i'll now press enter then i will now put uh, git config that dash global user dot name so this name i'm going to put now is my um github username 
So I'll write git uh, config. So I forgot to put the I, so automatically there will be an error. So I want us to see the that uh, most of this thing is um, case sensitive. So when you now put it, I put me four three two is my to to show um error. So also, if you don't start it with git git config that dash global um then your username global user dot name you know we didn't put the git here so automatically it will show an error so you have to always start it with git that is git um config the config must have i so git so um then c o n f i g then that dash global user dot name then you now put your use your github username me 43 to this mind then you now press it then automatically to go then i want to clear the screen so i don't want it to be clumsy so at this point i'm not going to i'm now going to say git commit so i want to put my git commit message so um git commit dash m my first commit so now so i'll now type um git push git push so i want to push my um what i've done into my github so when i type git push it's already showing here so now so now i'm going to check my code and um you can see um all of them are green. Thank you.